You can now copy and paste keyframe animations across all your clips simultaneously in CapCut. Additionally, you can import multiple projects into your timeline and customize them to your liking. Plus, I have seven more cool features to share with you today. Here is one of my timelines for a video packed with effects, graphics, and all the cool stuff. By the way, I edit all my videos using the free version of CapCut. If I want to import another project into this timeline, I can now do it. Under Media, click on Subprojects and then click on Import. Here, I'm able to see all my projects in CapCut, and I can choose any of them to import into my current timeline. This is a game changer. I've selected one of my Manoir Recap video projects. If you tick the small box in the left corner, you'll be able to add all the assets of the selected project to your current media pool. Let's proceed and click on Import. Within seconds, we've imported another project. Now, you just need to place it on your current timeline. You can also select it and undo the compound clip. This way, you can make the exact changes you want. I use this a lot for my Manoir recap videos because sometimes I work with videos over three hours in length, and it's much better to make one hour per project than mix them all together without losing any quality. In the past, to extract audio from a video, you first had to import the video and place it on the timeline, then select the video, right-click and choose Extract Audio, turn off linkage, then delete the video track. That's a very long process, and you'd still have the video file in the media pool taking up space. CapCut has just fixed that. Now, you simply need to click on Audio. Make sure Import is selected. And on the right, you'll see Extract Audio. You simply need to click on the small Import button and choose the video from which you'd like to extract the audio. Open it in CapCut, and automatically, the audio will be extracted without importing the video. Now you just have to add it to your timeline. Now, you can adjust the size of your video or audio track. This not only makes editing easier, but also faster. To get started, click on the three dots next to any track. You'll see the option for track height. Hover over it, and next to it, you have three height options. Short, which will make your track shorter, making it impossible to preview your clips right on the track, thus slowing down editing. What I like to do is set the track height to either default or tall. This automatically gives you a better editing experience because you'll be able to see exactly where there's a change of scene or different cuts in your video. Besides the video, you can also adjust the track height of the audio. This way, you'll automatically be able to see pauses and make accurate cuts. It's very important for a speedy editing process, and I use it every single time in my editing. You should give it a try. Speaking of trying, there's a cool editing tool that makes it easier to edit clips from multiple camera angles. On my timeline, I have a talking head video and a manoir recap video. The only way to see the track below is by hiding the top track. When editing, if I want to see the manoir track, I would have to cut and delete parts of the talking head video. CapCut has made this process easier, especially if you have clips from different camera angles. First, select all your clips on the timeline. Right-click and choose Create Multi-Camera Clip. Choose a name, and for Sync, select either Audio or Auto. Make sure to turn on Proxy for a smoother editing experience. Once you click on Create, the AI will automatically merge everything into one clip. Next to the preview screen, you'll see a new editing panel with all your clips from different angles. To edit, simply play the video. Whenever you want to switch the camera angle, click the angle you want and a cut will be automatically made. I'll play the video again, and whenever I want to switch back to the first video, I'll simply select it, and the camera angle will automatically switch. This is a time-saving feature for longer edits, such as podcasts, documentaries, or even music videos. Once you're done, review your final video and export it. The Preview Access feature has always been there, but they've now upgraded it. Whenever you select the Preview Access, you can preview your video track by moving your mouse left or right. Now, there is a drop-down arrow next to the preview axis. When you click on it, you have the option to preview the video and audio at once, just like in Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve. Personally, I like using the video-only option. I feel it's a great choice CapCut has given its users, just like YouTube gives you the choice to like and subscribe to this channel if you find my content useful. Another cool feature that's been upgraded is the linkage feature. Let's say I want to move this clip. You'll notice that only the video moves, leaving behind everything associated with that particular clip. When you turn on linkage, this solves the issue. 
This feature has been around, but now CapCut has upgraded it by adding a small arrow next to linkage. Click on the arrow and then click on linkage settings. A new menu will pop up where you can choose exactly what to link when moving your clips around. For instance, if I select everything except the audio, then when I move my clip, everything linked to it will move, leaving the audio behind. You can even choose to link everything except the sound effect. I really love CapCut because they're always looking for something to update in their software. In CapCut, when you place the playhead anywhere on the timeline and press Q to ripple delete, you'll notice that only the audio or at times, only the video gets deleted. To ensure both audio and video are deleted simultaneously, first select both, right click and create a compound clip. Now, any ripple delete will remove both audio and video. Once you're done editing, you can extract the audio as needed. While this trick isn't new, I thought it would be helpful to share it with you. A lot of people have been asking for this feature. It allows you to copy and paste attributes to all your selected clips at once. This can be keyframes, color adjustments, or other attributes. I have just opened one of my manga recap projects. These kinds of videos are very time consuming because for a one hour video, you can have up to a thousand images showing one after another. To keep people watching, I always used to add keyframe animations to all my thousand plus images one by one. But thanks to CapCut, things are now easier. Now all you have to do is simply adjust one image. You can adjust the size, colors, or anything. Once you are happy with one clip, select that particular clip, right click, and click on Copy Attributes. Then, select all the other images or videos you want to edit, right click, and click on Paste Attributes. A screen will pop up where you can select exactly what attributes you want and then click on paste. This automatically transfers all the settings from our first image to the rest of the images. Now all the images have been scaled to 89% and turned black and white. That is not all. Let's say I want to add a zoom in effect to all my clips using keyframes. First, I'll select only one clip and add the zoom in keyframes. Plus, I can even make it smoother using curves. Once I'm happy with the animation, I'll simply select the animated image, right-click, and choose Copy Attributes. Then I'll select all my other images, right-click, and paste the attributes. Automatically, my keyframes have been transferred to all my clips. Sometimes, some images may not be affected because they have different sizes. To fix that, when you are pasting, make sure to enable Stretch to Fit. You'll see every image will have the same attributes. I personally use this last feature a lot. It's very essential for all my video editing. When you click on the three dots next to a video track, you'll see the option for audio waveform size. If your video has sounds, you'll be able to choose the size of the waveform from three options, 30%, 60%, and 100%. This makes it easier to see where there's silence in your clip, but also you'll know exactly where one sentence ends and where the next one starts, making it easier to edit your A-roll video. It's pretty much similar to the track height for audio. For more cool editing tools, click on the video on the screen to watch 21 Insane CapCut Editing Tricks.